I live in New York, and um, I must put a little, talk a little about that. Uh, I'm not a um, blind optimist. It is very difficult to live in a place. I love people that hang on in the midst of some misery and adversity. I saw a man fishing at 125th Street in Harlem River. <laughs> God bless this man. Now that is patience. <laughs> Supposing he did catch something. Have any idea what kind of monster, bulldog, sick fish that's got to be? <laughs> Come out of that water and boom! Get that goddamn hook out of my mouth, you idiot! <laughs> Give me that bait! You know, they don't fool around. <laughs> I've taken to fishing, actually, lately. You know, I like it. I had to get over a kind of anthropomorphic thing about the fish not maybe digging a hook, ripping his mouth and stomach out. But really, when I got over that, it was just easy. I'd rather, I concentrate on the drowning worm instead. Because <laughs> the fish, when you bring him into the boat, he still seems to prefer to be elsewhere. <laughs> but a worm doesn't, he's lower on the fauna chain, and for some reason, he doesn't give a shit. I mean, you cut him in half, both sides walk away. How are you? <laughs> the Yankees in that last World Series, they were great, weren't they? Throw that ball! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Hit! <laughs> Bunt! Ah! Baseball's most dangerous procedure, by the way. You miscalculate right in your Monongololos. <laughs> Sorry about that, too. Career full of euphemism searching for the networks. Can we use woo woo instead of tush? <laughs> baseball players are a little less hardy than football players. Baseball player slides into second base. And, oh, a raspberry, an infection, out for the year, again, mercurochrome, you know. Football player, the doctor said, You can't go back in there, son. The bone is sticking through the skin. Well, put it back, sucker! You know. <laughs> The amphetamine starts to take hold around the national anthem. He gets going, to, and the home! They're hitting each other's helmets and... The... <laughs> and I love the way they understate the violence, like the referees, you know, personal foul, number 22. First of all, they have to walk away. They put that mic on and the players are screaming, you son of a... <laughs> Get the... Personal foul, number 22. Ripping the running back's head off. <laughs> Breaking his legs, calling his mother fat and ugly. <laughs> Fifteen yards, decline. <laughs> and after they break someone's legs, and you see the players on the bench, they turn around and go, Hi, Mom. <laughs> um, baseball is a game of fear and avoidance. My parents didn't let me play either, slightly protective people with a slightly different approach toward child rearing than, say, Mr. and Mrs. Too Tall Jones' parent, you know, or the Flying Walendas, for example, who seem to delight in the complete wiping out of their family and their profession. <laughs> Mr. Walenda, I understand your son-in-law was killed last week. Yes, we're very proud, yes, yes, yes. I understand your daughter-in-law was killed last month. Oh, yes, very proud. Rump, no, that, yes. I understand your grandson sprained his ankle. Yes, we hope he was killed next week. We hope he was. But my parents is, what are you, football, what are you, crazy? How about checkers? What are you talking about? One of those will flip up, take your eye out. <laughs> you know what happened to that Dawkins boy. You know what I mean? Tennis with a helmet. You can get an abrasion on your head there. When I went to the circus every year, Madison Square Garden, um, I was one of one of those toy whips. That's who I identified with, the lion tamer. That was the favorite souvenir. If you've been to the circus now, it's kind of lights, you spin, nothing. But uh, I wanted one of those toy whips, whips, and they wouldn't let me have one because my mother had a friend who had a daughter-in-law, who had a child, who had a cousin, who had a son, who almost had his eye injured once by a circus whip. It was called the Circus Whip Legend, and uh, I had to settle for one of those kind of innocuous balloons on a stick that did nothing. It just, uh, and the little boys would come up and go, whip, whip, and you go, gooba, 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 gooba. Gooba, gooba, gooba. Children can be cruel. I remember you walk in the basement of Madison Square Garden, a dozen chained elephants doing this. <clears throat> <clears throat> what would you do if you were chained to the basement of Madison Square Garden for a month with little boys throwing peanuts at their eyes? Get them! 
tighten the retina, Tommy. You know. <laughs> Children have a peculiar way of looking at something like an elephant. How can I hurt this thing? <laughs> Tough hide, eye shiny, vulnerable. Get him. 